<laughs> I had to work with a production company in Spain before in a movie in Italy. So uh, one day, by many coincidences in life, I met the producer again, and he said, "Oh, I have I have read a script that you could fit in one of the roles," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so he sent me the script, and I was I fell in love with that script because I think it's beautiful. <laughs> and time passed by, and they didn't send me anything. So after six months, they called me again. So you have to do another audition and then another audition and then it never ended and I was even rehearsing and I oh, still had the feeling that the role wasn't mine. I kind of been always fighting for it, you know, even in the rehearsals or I don't know why. I never, I don't know, maybe that's some Margarita thing that she had to fight <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and uh, I even, I don't know, I wanted to be part of it. I even had another project to do, a TV show in Spain. But I said no to that because I wanted to do this. I wanted to be Margarita. I don't know, it's like I always got moved saying those words and I think that I wanted to say that those words, that's <laughs> all. And also I've been all my life really fascinating but fascinated by the life of these three men. So I remember one of the happiest days of my life was I was little and I'm from a little village and we went to Barcelona, first time I was in Barcelona and we were with my family walking in Las Ramblas and I saw this guy costume with a costume like Salvador Dali and he went like click on me and I was like, Salvador Dali has his eye on me and I was like happy because of that, you know. Magdalena is a, it's a woman from Buena Del, from a rich family, but she was one of the few that could study in La Residencia de Estudiantes in Madrid, because at that time, of course, women couldn't accede to this, the studies or certain, and uh, she was so lucky that she, <laughs> she could be witness, no, these three people together and uh, she is kind of a rebel she wants to be part of them but she is but she's not you know everything is more difficult for her just because she's a woman and probably is not that talented as them and uh, but she's fascinated by them she has a lot of admiration for all of them so it's 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 a love, no? she, and she's in love with Federico. So probably, I don't know, she inspired him and she makes him believe in himself and everything, but then Salvador Dali appears and probably he gets the inspiration from someone else. Magdalena is a woman at the time that wants to be a journalist and uh, she gets to know Federico in this university, so they became like a team, like two people who has kind of a similar, pers well, I think she, she has a lot of admiration on him, on his poetry, and, and he, she makes him believe a lot on himself, and she probably doesn't have that much talent for herself, so she, She's a journalist, you want to face the truth, the serious thing. So I guess in the beginning, well, in the beginning, the relationship is very fierce, like a team. And probably she, she, the way she supports him and everything, it gives him like the, the, the force to do certain things. And then uh, Salvador Dali appears and he find the inspiration somewhere else and and she feel a little bit a part of it but because of she's feeling a part of this love she also feel less herself because she's more like following or fighting for something so probably because i think as a journalist she's the one who want to face the truth she uh, puts herself into a situation when she, where she really sees what's going on in between Federico 
en Salvador Dalí to be able to love back Federico, you know, because seems this period of jealousy makes herself being obsessed or being not able to love him, uh, Feder uh, Federico in a healthy way, you know. So after she faced the truth, because I think this woman is very brave and very has a lot of courage being a young lady in those that period. So he she tells him <laughs> a cure of his life, uh, which is the, la the, the the last thing she want to be telling to him. So probably it's this triangle. Federico is doing to me what Salvador is, is doing to him. It's the mind who puts the limits, not the body, you know? And she doesn't allow herself to be who she want to be because of the historical moment. She can't be who she want to be. And they can be who they want to be. And they have a lot of talent, and she doesn't have that much, but she can, she can see it, you know? So it's like, <laughs> take the balls and come on, you know, and don't get stuck with this obsession or this love and these things and and be more generous to the world than to yourself, kind of. Because these guys take the decision to uh, renounce to some passion they didn't feel for each other, to have a generosity bigger with the world. That's their hard work they gave to all of us. Being in my own town, shooting with English people, it was like suddenly what your what your wall with someone else's eyes, no? And more free, probably. I mean, I know my town because here I've been with my family, blah, blah, because here the culture, blah, blah. and suddenly, you know, it's like Barcelona got mixed for me, you know? It was like a mess, <laughs> it was like... <laughs> I could I, I wanted to be like a host in my town and I couldn't. I mean I didn't know. I wanted to know for first time as well. And also the 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 way of shooting for me has been very different than any project I've been in been in. How how is it different? Shooting with Paul Morrison <laughs> <laughs> which I have here. <laughs> I don't know, it was like a, a different rhythm, a different state of mind, you know, a different, like, more slowly that allows, allows you to feel, you know, every single gesture, every single, yeah, so Paul Morrison allowed me this freedom. <laughs>